Oh, she's doing stuff, I think. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I love essential oils, and I'm so excited to share about their benefits to your body. My name is Shannon, and I have a huge passion for natural living, and it's my true joy to share that with others. So thanks for joining me today. So I designed this virtual class to teach you about the basics of essential oils. I will be going through some slides and sharing valuable information with you. Your video and microphone should be turned off. Um, if you'd like to keep it on, that's fine, but just to limit our distractions. And I'm gonna follow up with each one of you individually after the class to answer your questions. So make sure you write them down. I will also send you these slides and a recording of the class for your reference so you can listen to it again if there's something you missed or want to hear what I have to say again. So in this class, my learning goals for you are learning about what are essential oils, why I care about a natural approach, and why you might also care, how to use essential oils, and some ideas for incorporating essential oils into your life. Our behavior is an expression of our beliefs. When we know better, we do better. So that's why I'm here today. I want to empower you to think about taking care of yourself in a way that you have never done before. I believe there's a time for modern medicine and a time for nature's medicine. We're living in a time where we're abusing modern medicine as a society. Our body is designed to heal itself and we can learn how to do that and how to help it. So what are essential oils? Have you heard a lot of talk about essential oils lately? I feel like it's all the buzz right now. I find that so many people are curious about oils, but they either don't know what they are or don't know how to use them. Quite simply, essential oils come from plants. Pure quality essential oils are only plants. Plants have tiny oil sacs in them that protect them from the environment, and these oil sacs can be carefully distilled out of the plant to create the small bottles of essential oils that you might be familiar with. Essential, essential oils are natural, they're effective, and they're safe. But it's very important to know that not all essential oils are created equal. I'm going to talk about this in detail because this is one of the most important things to know when deciding how to choose an essential oil company that you trust. As I said in the last slide, pure essential oils only come from plants. Essential oils are as much as 70 times more powerful than their herbal counterparts. One drop of peppermint oil could be equated to 28 cups of peppermint tea. Although essential oils can be expensive, or can seem expensive at first when you're getting used to it, they are very affordable when you quantify what you can get from one bottle of oil. The best thing about essential oils is that there are no known side effects at this point. They are truly a natural solution. Of course, safe usage of the oils is important too. Essential oils are a very effective solution for our body. They work at the cellular level to protect our cells. Impurities and threats in our body reside inside and outside of our cells. The compounds from oils can penetrate into cell membranes and fight against threats. Oils can work with our body to help heal itself. The best part about using oils as a natural solution is that our bodies don't build up resistance to the compounds. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself there. In terms of safety, um, this is one of the most important things in my entire presentation. So I'm looking at this right-hand box that says safe. Please listen up to this part because this is really important. So essential oils are very safe, but not all essential oil companies are created equal. The FDA does not regulate supplement companies, including essential oils. So this means that companies can do and claim whatever they want in terms of quality and ingredients. The only thing that companies cannot claim is the treatment and cure of diseases, but their ingredients and processes are not regulated in the United States. So it's important to research essential oil companies and know what their standards are. There are four grades of essential oils, which you can see on your screen. Synthetic means that it contains toxic chemical fragrances that are made to smell like a plant. So they can make it smell like lavender or whatever they choose. I've seen these for sale at many big box stores. So that's definitely something you want to avoid. Food grade means that it can be used for cookings and flavorings. And that's been determined to be safe for that food grade level by the FDA. So peppermint extract, um, but oftentimes with extracts, alcohol is added as a preservative. The therapeutic 
rating of essential oils is where things get really messy. This label is completely unregulated and it could mean compromised quality of the oil you're getting, which also of course means compromised safety. Certified pure therapeutic grade is a standard created by a company called doTERRA. And doTERRA created its own testing and standards to ensure the quality of their oils. And here's the most important part. It's third party verified each time they bottle an essential oil. So again, the FDA does not have standards regulating the organic label in supplements or cosmetics. This means that any oil company can claim that they're organic, but it's not verified. doTERRA's certified pure therapeutic grade criteria is extremely stringent. So what is doTERRA? doTERRA was founded in 2008 by the leading essential oil experts and chemists as they saw a need for a quality product where regulation standards were lacking in the US. The most important thing about doTERRA beyond the certified pure therapeutic grade rating is that they source their plants from the plants indigenous regions, ensuring a superior quality of their products. doTERRA calls the standard co-impact sourcing because not only do they get a high quality plant, but they're paying a high quality price to the local farmers around the world who grow it, and thus they're improving an economic conditions around the world. doTERRA's philanthropic arm, which they call the Healing Hands Foundation, continues its efforts to affect impoverished communities around the world. I love doTERRA because I feel that they're making a lasting effect on the global economy. I really encourage you to look at their YouTube channel if you have time to learn more about the life-changing work they're doing around the world. Some of the videos they have on there are pretty incredible and inspiring. When I started using doTERRA oils, my nose really told me the difference right away. If you compare doTERRA against other brands, it's far, far and away superior to anything else that I've ever tried. So unpacking this certified pure therapeutic grade rating a little bit more, um, I'm going to send out copies of the explanations for the five tests that doTERRA does on each of their bottles of oils. Um, I'll send that to you after the class. The explanations are extremely interesting and they're far more scientific than I could explain to you in a short amount of time. But the certified pure therapeutic grade oils represent the safest and most beneficial oils available in the world today. For an oil to be in this rating category that they've created, they have to have these four criteria that you see. So they have to be pure and natural, carefully extracted from the plants, free from fillers or artificial ingredients, and there's no dilution of the active qualities of the plants. They're completely free of contaminants, pesticides, or any kind of chemical residues. And five third-party tests, which is what I mentioned I would send to you, are performed on each bottle of oil to ensure the quality, purity, and potency. And it's sourced by a global network of leading essential oil chemists and growers to ensure the correct species, growth in the ideal, and, it, and we believe that to be indigenous environments, and that raw plant materials were carefully harvested at the appropriate time to extract the highest benefits of the plant. So there's a lot that goes into um, picking a plant and distilling it properly, processing it properly, to make sure that you're getting a quality essential oil. So you might be wondering, why should I use essential oils? Well, to me, I'd say they're natural, they're safe, and they're affordable. These are the reasons that I care about natural solutions, and I believe that you might also care. They can often rid our need for a synthetic solution, and they can address the root cause of a problem instead of masking symptoms. They're available at home immediately, and you, begin, you can begin to educate yourself about how to use them. You can go to your essential oil toolbox and figure out what would be best for whatever ailment might be plaguing you at the moment or your children. And best of all, there's no side effects like there can be for synthetic drugs and chemical drugs. So essential oils are quite a wonderful thing. It may seem like essential oils are a recent trend, but the use of essential oils has been around for centuries. Humans have been using plants as healers dating all the way back to the first documented use of Ayurvedic medicine in India in 2700 BC. Hippocrates used many plant solutions with his patients, 
And as modern medicine was being developed in the 1900s, there are countless stories of plant-based solutions being used, including lavender being used to heal the, heal the skin and eucalyptus fighting flu in both of the world wars. As modern medicine has become increasingly synthetic, however, more people are turning to natural solutions, and this is why essential oils are becoming very popular again. So as I've hopefully established with um, my talking about oils, I only trust the use of doTERRA essential oils, and that's what I personally recommend. So when I'm saying how you can use them, I'm specifically speaking to the use of doTERRA products. So doTERRA can be used aromatically, topically, and internally. So first let's unpack aromatically. What you breathe affects your mood. As an aside, this is one of the reasons why the candle industry is so popular. However, all candles give us our toxic, toxic chemicals that we're breathing into our bodies and into our brains. The brain can't differentiate between synthetic and natural, so it smells something and that can um, have an aromatic effect on the brain as well. So aromatic use cleanses the air and supports healthy breathing when you're using an essential oil. Aromatic use can also be achieved by smelling directly from an essential oil bottle for 20 to 30 seconds. Aromas trigger off a certain part of our brain called the olfactory bulb, which is known as the emotional brain. So these odor stimuli trigger a series of brain chemicals. The olfactory bulb is the only place in the body where the central nervous system is directly exposed to the environment. Our brain is designed to use aroma to soothe and protect itself. So oil molecules are said to reach the brain within 22 seconds. In terms of topically, consider your, your, your skin as a sponge and not a barrier. The skin is actually our largest organ. Oils can be found in the bloodstream in under two minutes after applying them. After 20 minutes, every cell in the body will be affected. The feet are a great receptacle for oils, topically, and they're a safe place to put them for kids. You can put oils anywhere on the body to target a specific area. And it's important to know which oils need to be diluted for the skin and which ones do not. And then internally, essential oils from doTERRA that are marked with a supplement fax box, like you would see on any kind of supplemental product you would buy, these oils are then safe for dietary use, of course, in addition to being topical and aromatic. You can add those oils to water, you can put it under your tongue, or you can put it in a vegetable capsule. Vegetable capsules are just made of one plant ingredient, and you can place one or two drops of oils inside and then swallow it if you prefer not to taste it. It's very simple and very effective. Internal use of oils nourishes the whole body, including the digestive system, the mouth, the throat, and the liver. When I talk about using internal oils or essential oils internally, I get a lot of questions about, well, is that really safe? My answer is yes, but only with these certified pure therapeutic grade oils that you know are completely, completely plant-based. There's a quote from that, um, Dr. Joshua Jorgensen, who is on the doTERRA Medical Advisory Board, and he says this, oils first have an effect on local tissues. The local effect may be felt more strongly when applied internally compared to when applied to the skin because the nerves in our mucosa are, close, are closer to the surface of the cell, often more numerous, and can be easily stimulated compared to the nerves of the skin. Although the skin is thicker and seems to be less fragile than the mucous membranes, the reality is that it's similar to the skin and the mucosa has many features that are protective and conducive to the use of essential oils internally. So it's amazing to me that we, our brains have somehow been trained to think that um, taking chemical drugs and that eating food from fast food restaurants and other um, places like that is, is typically safe enough to do, but when we stop to think about essential oils, we have to pause for a moment and make sure that's safe. And my answer is yes, this is completely safe to do. And I, I do this for myself and also for my husband. Internal use of oils for kids is not something I would recommend because their bodies are so much smaller. Um, and that's a personal decision, of course, for each parent. So let's talk about essential oils in your daily life. Hopefully by now you've learned something that you didn't know before. 
For the next section of this class, I'm going to focus on five particular oils from doTERRA. Um, On Guard, which is a specific doTERRA blend, lemon, peppermint, melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree, and lavender. Each of these five oils come in the two basic starter kits that doTERRA offers. The other five oils that come in those starter kits are frankincense, oregano, deep blue, which is a blend, breathe blend, and also digest zen blend. After the class, I'll receive, you'll receive a document from me that gives you some suggested uses for all 10 of the most popular oils that doTERRA sells. Beyond these oils, if you have a specific need you'd like to target with the use of the oils, I'd be happy to help you figure out what would be best. So for those five oils that I mentioned that I'm going to cover, I'm going to give you some examples as well as talk about the inherent properties of each plant from which the oil was derived. I want you to understand something very important though before I go forward. Don't compartmentalize the oils that I talk about. So what I mean by that is that oils have many uses far beyond what I could cover in a short time span. And beyond this, other oils can achieve the same things that I'll mention of these specific oils, but I'm just trying to give you some examples and ideas of how you could use these oils in your life. So how could essential oils fit into your life? Well, I believe that there are six pillars to a healthy life. Will essential oils make you instantly healthier and change all your health problems? Not likely, but a healthy lifestyle and the incorporation of oils can help your overall health and keep you free from illness and away from the doctor. The six pillars of a healthy lifestyle, in my opinion, are proactive medical care, informed self-care, reducing your toxic load, so getting rid of as many chemicals as you can from your life and from your home, resting and managing your stress, exercise, and eating right. So I believe that essential oils can be a major component of the four highlighted pillars, those that are in coral. And I'm going to talk about how that is so right now. So before I, get, I go into the examples of these oils based on the four pillars I just described, I want to reiterate the point that I made two slides ago. Don't compartmentalize the oils. I'll discuss because the oils are capable of many things. And these are not the only oils that can achieve the benefits that I describe. It's really important um, to educate yourself about the uses and capabilities of the different oils and plants that they come from. And I'll mention some resources for doing so at the end of the presentation. Once you start to educate yourself, experimenting with the oils is one of the best ways to learn about how you can use them for so many different things because so many different plants have inherent properties and it's really amazing to see what they can do for the body. In terms of your body's needs, essential oils work with your body to address the needs instead of masking a symptom. And your body is different from everyone else's, so some oils may affect you differently. They might affect you more than they affect someone else or they might affect you less. Natural healing is much different from medicinal healing because it addresses the root cause of what's going on in your body. So first let's unpack proactive medical care. On Guard oil and lemon essential oil are two examples of how you can be proactive with your health. <clears throat> On Guard is a blend of five powerful oils, all with antioxidant, antibacterial, and antiviral capabilities. The oils in this blend are wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus, and rosemary. Clove bud is one of the most powerful antioxidants in the plant world. One drop is equivalent to the power of 28 quarts of blueberries. So that's quite powerful. On Guard can be used to support a healthy immune system. It can be used to support the, the body's natural antioxidants defenses, protect against seasonal and environmental threats, and create an uplifting aroma to support a positive mood around the house. So this is something that I use on myself and my kids daily to support our bodies as they work hard to keep us healthy. I also use it to clean my house, um, one or two drops on a wet sponge, and I can wipe down countertops or clean out a sink, and I know that I'm getting those antibacterial and antiviral properties in my home. Lemon is one of the most powerful and useful oils, and it's also one of the most affordable, surprisingly. It takes about 45 lemon rinds for one small bottle of oil to be produced. 
So that puts the potency of these oils in perspective. Lemon can be used to cleanse and purify the air and surfaces, can help cleanse the body of toxins, support respiratory function, and promote a positive mood. I like to put one drop of lemon in my water several times a day to help me cleanse and just get rid of any toxins that might be in there, and plus it makes the water taste great. Peppermint essential oil is an oil that is a great example of informed self-care. This is one of my favorite oils for taking care of myself and my family. It's really versatile and I love the smell. It can be used to assist with our respiratory function and clear breathing, assist with digestion, it can energize or uplift us, and support headache and migraine tension. So a lot of times with peppermint oil, if I have a headache or a migraine, I can take one or two drops on my temples or put it on the back of my neck, and that will help to alleviate any tension that I'm feeling in those areas. Um, one of the other things that I like to do with this one is to put one drop on each side of my, on, on each wrist and smell it as I'm having an afternoon slump or feeling a little bit tired, needing some energy at the end of the day. Peppermint is wonderful for that. So reducing the toxic load. This is one of the reasons that I started using essential oils at all is because I wanted to get rid of chemical cleaning products in my home, and I was never really satisfied with any of the organic or natural options that I could find. Either their ingredients still weren't, um, weren't good enough for me, or the product just really didn't work. So I started using essential oils for chemicals replacement around my house, so I no longer have any chemicals. I completely clean the house with essential oils. Um, Melaleuca, which is also known as tea tree, you've probably heard of that before, is an antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral plant. So when you have the power of the potency in the essential oil, you're getting all of those benefits. You can use it as a home cleaner in your sinks, tubs, showers, and again, like I said, I sometimes will just put one or two drops on a wet sponge and spread that around and repeat as needed as I'm cleaning. And I will also use this instead of conventional hand sanitizer. So I'll just put one drop on my hands, rub it around. I'll add a little bit of coconut oil if I need just a little bit more coverage. This oil is also renowned for its cleansing and rejuvenating effect on the skin. So I like to use it in my moisturizer, conditioner, lotion. So I have all unscented products. And um, I will just add one drop of melaleuca and get all the benefits from that. And it can also be used to heal wounds or cuts. So this one does not have to be diluted. You can just put one drop directly on the wound or cut and it will help to heal the skin. If you look into how many chemicals you're exposed to on a daily basis with all your cosmetic items, it's really astounding. So this oil is a great example of reducing your toxic load in both your cleaning products and for your cosmetic needs around the home. Lavender oil is a favorite for most people for resting and managing their stress. Um, this one is also really popular for emotional support. Managing our stress and getting enough sleep are crucial to our ability to stay healthy, both mentally and physically. This can help reduce our anxious feelings, promote a peaceful sleep, help the body find a state of relaxation, promote a consciousness and a general sense of well-being. So this one's really popular with a lot of people. I'd say this is a must-have. So I'm going to give you a few more ideas of how you can incorporate specifically these five oils into your life. Um, there's so many things you can do with essential oils, but I like to establish a base point so that it's not too overwhelming as you're learning all the things that essential oils can do. So some beauty tips. For a natural makeup remover, instead of using a conventional product, you could do two drops each of melaleuca and lavender in a two ounce spray bottle and fill the rest of it with fractionated coconut oil. And I'll unpack what fractionated coconut oil is in just a few minutes. But you could mix those together and just put it in a spray bottle and use that as a makeup remover instead. Skin blemishes, um, you can apply one drop of melaleuca to a blemish on your skin or if you need more coverage, you can put it all over the face, diluting it with a fractionated coconut oil. And mascara, um, I've actually been loving this tip. You can add one drop of lavender to your mascara tube, and it'll stay in there for the, the life of the mascara, and that helps to lengthen your lashes. 
For mouthwash, this is something that I really love. You can take a large glass water bottle and put 10 to 20 drops of peppermint and of course filling it with water, um, depending on how strong you want it to be and just swish this around in your mouth at night instead of using a mouthwash. If you like to make homemade things, you can make a homemade toothpaste with On Guard, just adding baking soda and coconut oil. And then a hair strengthener. This is something that I like to use in my shower. So I put one drop of Melaleuca in my conditioner every day to help with hair growth. With postpartum um, hair loss, I've, I've lost a lot of hair and I, I hate that. So <laughs> I add one drop of Melaleuca and I've noticed that it has strengthened my hair. For home tips, um, this is a lot of things about reducing your toxic load around the house. Detergents, dryer sheets, cleaners, air fresheners, all of those things that are conventional products that you can buy at big box stores and elsewhere have so many toxic ingredients in them and instead you can make your own and use essential oils for all of these things. So if you wanted to make a natural laundry detergent, you can see the recipe there with water and castile soap, baking soda, and then lemon oil helps to make this, it makes the clothes smell wonderful. I haven't used conventional dryer sheets in a very long time, so I use uh, wool dryer balls and I'll add a couple drops of lemon or lavender to just make the clothes smell fresh. For an all-purpose cleaner, you could fill a 16 ounce spray bottle with On Guard and water, kiss steel soap and vinegar, and just use that as your cleaner around the house instead of buying a product. And for air freshener, you could also fill a 16 ounce spray bottle with lavender and water and just use that around your home. So you might be wondering, how do I get started now that you've heard all this great information about essential oils and what they can do? And there is so much more to learn, but I just skimmed the surface with you today and I am always here to answer more questions. If you have a specific need that you're looking to target, I would love to help you figure out how to do that. I hope that I've taught you something and inspired you to incorporate doTERRA oils into your life. Whatever your level of interest is, I'd love to support you. So when I started my essential oil journey, I always wished there would be someone to help guide me. Connecting with someone you trust and rely on for questions is really, really important. As I mentioned um, in this presentation earlier, most people choose to get started with a starter kit and then branch out from there to discover new oils. The starter kits include the 10 most popular oils, and they include some things that you might not have necessarily tried and that are really important to have in your home. So let's look at some options here. So retail and wholesale are the options for buying doTERRA products. Most people choose wholesale because it's more economical and the best way to save money while adding oils to your collection. Buying a starter kit, includes the wholesale membership, which is otherwise $35 a year. The annual renewal for the wholesale is $25, but that includes a free bottle of peppermint oil. So you're really getting the most for your money. Wholesale is 25% off the retail prices, so it makes a big difference if you're, if you're adding to your collection and um, using essential oils for everything in your life like I do. Beyond your initial purchase, the Loyalty Rewards Program is a, a way that a lot of people choose to add oils to their collection, completely optional. If you place an order of 50 PV, which is about $50, you'll earn free product credits toward doTERRA oils and products each month. If you place an order of 125 PV each month, which is $125, you get free products of the month. And the past few months have included things like lime, wild orange, and an aroma touch blend, which is great for massages and um, using for relaxation. Your percentage points for this program start at 10%, and then after 13 months of participation in the program, go to 30%. So, for example, if you were to place a 100 PV order in your first month of this participation in this program, you would get 10 points into your account, which you could use for something like a lemon oil. If at month 13, you placed that same 100 PV order, you would get 30 points back into your account, which you could use to purchase several oils. So it really pays off to be a part of it in the long run, and it's a great way to add to your collection and get rid of chemicals in your life. So I'm gonna go through some of the examples of 
the most popular starter kits and what they include. So the Home Essentials Kit is one of the more popular ones because it comes with those 10 oils that I described as the most common oils for doTERRA. And they come in a larger bottle size. They're all 15 milliliters, with the exception of the Deep Blue oil, which is a blend good for stress and tension. That oil only comes in a five milliliter bottle, no matter how you slice it. So in this kit, you would get the nine 15 milliliter bottles, the bottle of Deep Blue, which is five milliliters, and a pedal diffuser, which is really nice to have. Um, I personally have a diffuser in every room of my house so that I don't have to move them all the time. So this is really nice to have um, one to get started if you don't already have any or add to your diffuser collection. The Family Physician Kit includes those same 10 oils that the um, Home Essentials Kit does, except they're all five milliliters. They're all gonna be that same size as the Deep Blue Kit. It doesn't come with a diffuser, but it does come with On Guard and Peppermint Beadlets, which are just tiny little oil-filled sacks that you can um, swallow instead of having to put in a veggie capsule yourself or put under your tongue. The Natural Solutions Kit is for people who want to try some of the doTERRA products beyond the oils. So it comes with nine five milliliter bottles of oils and seven 15 milliliter bottles, and also two roll-ons, um, those being past tense, which is good for tension and stress, and Clary Calm, which is a uh, women's support blend for PMS and hormones and all things menopausal and hormonal. Comes with those same beadlets that came in the family physician kit I just showed you, and then it also comes with a lot of other products that people like to try, toothpaste, hand soap, vitamins, and so on. If you purchase this kit, it starts with 15% um, at your loyalty rewards instead of 10, and then you also get some free product credits to add to your collection of things that might not be in this kit that you, but you wanted to try. Whatever you decide to do, whether it's one oil or a kit or however you choose to start, there are some additional items that I always ask people to consider. The fractionated coconut oil does not come in the kits, with the exception of the one I just showed you. Um, and this is important because some of the oils need to be diluted. Veggie capsules are something that are just made from plant ingredients, and you can open up the capsules and put one or two drops of oils inside to swallow them and take them internally. These two things at the bottom, the Essential Life book and the Modern Essentials app, are the best learning tools that I have come across so far. So the Essential Life book you can purchase on Amazon. There's also um, a website called shareoils.com that I like to purchase from. And they have this book, it's about $25. It's the best book you will ever own for essential oil learning. Um, it goes through, in the beginning, you can look up any ailment from A to Z and it will tell you which oils could help affect that. And then it also goes through each individual plant to tell you what kinds of properties they have. Is it sedative, antibacterial? Um, does it help to boost your immune system and so on? And that this is where you start to learn about how to use all the oils in your toolkit. The Modern Essentials app, which is something that is for iPhone, I believe they have it for Android as well. You can um, download the app and it does the same thing that the book does. You can type in an ailment and it will give you suggestions for oils to use. Or you can type in a specific oil and it can tell you the things that it can help affect. So this is what my website looks like for doTERRA, just to familiarize you. I can help you navigate the site should you choose to embark on an essential oil journey, and I'd, I'd really love to help you with that. These are ways to connect with me. I'm very active on Instagram. That's where I post the majority of my tips for using essential oils, but if you're not on Instagram, I am working to do the same thing on both Pinterest and Facebook. And I do have a blog. And I also have a shop on Etsy where I make some homemade products with my essential oils. I'll be coming out with some new things this week. I'll be coming out with um, some homemade body lotions using essential oils, moisturizers, face creams, night creams, things like that. I currently have on there some deodorant, <clears throat> some rollerball blends for affecting different things in the body, and also some salves that are good for allergies and coughs and colds. 
So what to expect after this class, because we're about to wrap up now. I wanted to make sure that you know I will reach out to each and every one of you um, to make sure that you don't have any questions and how see how I can help you as you venture down this journey. I'm gonna send you some copies of the slides from this presentation, a link to the recording of the class, a document that explains the testing standards that doTERRA uses to make their oils, and a document outlining the ideas for using the top 10 oils in the starter kit. And I hope that you'll find these items helpful. Please don't hesitate to follow up with questions. I'd really love to help you, and I mean that genuinely, because I always wanted someone to help me when I was getting started on this journey. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to help you with your journey, and I look forward to connecting with each and every one of you to see where your oil journey will take you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon or evening, and I will connect with you soon.